The proposed Summit Carbon Solutions pipeline would run through one of Patman and Gay's fields in Clarksville. We have 120 acres that the pipeline has been proposed to go through from north to south. Menenge doesn't want it. We want to preserve our land the way it was given to us and we want to keep it that way. We're not in favor of a pipeline. This week, a group of nearly 40 Republican lawmakers filed lawsuits in state and federal court aiming to stop the pipeline. Our group initially started with 19 legislators, but has since doubled in size, reflecting the growing concern among senators and representatives here in Iowa. The lawsuits are the newest way to try and stop the pipeline. Lawmakers in the Iowa House voted to rein in the use of eminent domain, but Republican leaders in the Senate never brought the bills up for a vote. The way that uh, politics, the, the rules are established and the way the hierarchy works in the Senate and both chambers, leadership has quite a bit of control over what is what advances and what doesn't. State Representative Charlie Thompson of Charles City says he sees changes on the horizon. Thompson says that many of the new candidates running for the Iowa Senate are opposed to the project. There's not a lot of support for this outside of people who are financially interested. There, there are a few rather muted supporters in the legislature, but I think that's disappearing. Thompson says public opinion is on their side and growing. As more public opinion uh, shifts into our favor, it's going to be harder and harder for um, the Senate to not act on this. I think the Senate's going to be compelled to at some point. Menenge says she now has hope regardless of what happens with the lawsuits. I've become very hopeful in the last six months just listening to uh, some of our representatives and um, some of the other landowners and I know a lot of them have ideas of how they are going to stop it. Summit contends that by lowering carbon emissions, it makes ethanol production more sustainable and can increase demand. At the Iowa Capitol Bureau, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.